take your common sense pills and shove it up your- Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. On this channel, I've made a couple videos covering TTVs that are over the top and obnoxiously entitled to the point where I can't honestly tell if it's satire or if these people are like AI generated life forms. Today, I have another one of those TTVs to show you guys and I have to say, these clips are wildly entertaining, so grab your popcorn. Now, I'm not the first person to make a video about this person. They have been covered here on YouTube and on TikTok as well, so they seem to be making quite a name for themselves. However, I am still going to blur their name out in this video. I'm also hit shifting their voice as I usually do because I don't want anybody to find them and harass them or anything. The point of the video, as always, is to analyze their behavior and how they act towards others and just to showcase a mentality that people in this community do have. Much like the other TTVs in this series, I guess, uh, this streamer likes to report players for pretty much everything. Like if they camp or slug for the 4K, he'll report them for taking the game hostage. And he's taking the game hostage too. The one thing that I really want to focus on in this video is a term that they use in pretty much every match, and that term is favoritism. They use the term favoritism as another way of saying the killer is tunneling them, or just any time the killer decides to chase them ever. Alright, let's take a look at this favoritism right here. Oh, love the favoritism, asshole. <laughs> love the favoritism. All he did was chase the survivor that was in the open. There's two survivors. Love the favoritism. By the way, hasn't been hooked once. The other thing hadn't been hooked once. Wasn't tunneling or anything. Just two survivors were there. The streamer happened to run into the open. So Deathslinger chased the streamer and that was favoritism. So then goes on to report the Deathslinger as well. Instead of chasing an injured survivor. Was, was the thing injured? I don't believe she was. Only going for me while the other survivor does nothing. They were both running away from the killer. He also criticizes his teammates for bringing any perk in the game that isn't a perk he's using. Useless off the record, useless inner healing, useless decisive. Uh huh. Useless kindred, useless off the record. Use right. better perks, learn how to fucking dodge a goddamn harpoon. <laughs> Tired of dealing with fucking Muppet teammates. Tired of dealing with Muppet teammates, he said. He said, these people don't know how to dodge a harpoon gun. Meanwhile, this streamer went down to Deathslinger without them even having to shoot their gun. The Deathslinger didn't even have to use his harpoon gun to down you. Now here we have another case of favoritism, where there's a clown chasing a Steve, and the clown notices that the streamer is opening the exit gate. So they decide to chase the person off the exit gate, which is favoritism. As you can see, right here. Thank you for playing favoritism, asshole. Yep. Thank you for playing favoritism. <laughs> Thank you for playing fucking favoritism. Oh, man. And then he goes on Steam and reports the Steve, says, piece of shit teammate brings the killer to me while I'm trying to open the gate. Yeah, what, what, what is the Steve supposed to do in the end game? Isn't the point to run to the gate? I mean, you almost had it open. Where else? He was on Death Hook as well, so... But I... Yeah, the Steve is... The Steve's a piece of shit for trying to go to the exit gate, and the clown played favoritism for chasing the streamer off of the exit gate. This clip right here I just think is funny, and you'll see why. Getting chased by a blight. And Claude just fucking sandbags me like a useless prick. Oh, man. Useless fucking Muppet. Now, the Claudette was just kind of standing there, but I don't think that the Claudette necessarily sandbagged the TTV. Uh, the TTV turned and ran directly into the Blight. So then he reports her, of course, because, you know. And then this part here. And you run into him like a fucking dumbass. Jesus Christ. Get your fucking brain out of your ass. Okay, running directly into the killer, who would do such a thing? So in this match here, there's one gen left. The pinhead's having a rough time. 
So he ends up oh, tunneling. You have to tunnel me because you're a fucking bitch, dude. Yeah. You have no class. <laughs> no class. Nice tunneling, dipshit. Only, only classy individuals play Dead by Daylight. <laughs> So, gets unhooked again. This time, the exit gates are powered. Um, are not powered, but the... Oh, fuck off. The gen the other gates are open. And so... Again, the pinhead's just trying to secure one kill, because the streamer's the only person on death hook, so... In this, this case... Motherfucker... Wow, he's still... He's still tunneling and playing... Fucking... Fucking yeah, he's saying he's gonna get reported. So, in that case, he did get tunneled, but it was the end of the match, again. So there's that favoritism. There it is, there's the report. Played favoritism. Tunneled you almost the entire match, which... They weren't even hooked until one gem was left. It wasn't even the whole game, it was just the end of the game. And you could see here, the pinhead even tried to say, you know, I, it was, I was having a rough game. I'm sure you still got points. I didn't even pip. Like, just saying, like, you know, it is what it is. I wanted one kill. Like, they weren't even being rude in endgame chat. And they said, doesn't, doesn't excuse you tunneling me, jackass. And then the pinhead still says, good luck, have fun. And then they just said, yeah, uninstall, piece of shit. So now that we've seen how this streamer reacts to being tunneled, let's see what happens when they play killer. Certainly they wouldn't tunnel because of how much they hate it and how much they hate favoritism. Okay, playing trapper here. The Yui gets unhooked. Okay. So now what do we do? We go back to the hook. Oh look, there's the Yui. You gonna tunnel? Nice sandbag in there, dude. He blames the ace. Goes right for Yui. Alright, let's see. Do you have decisive? I'm just gonna waste it. <clears throat> of course you do. I'm just gonna face camp you now. Wait, oh, wait, so he tunnels the Yui, she has DS. And then he says, all right, I'm just going to face camp you now. Oh, are you playing favoritism? Are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, yeah, he, he goes after her. It's quite a long chase. Um, people do body block. Get out of my face, you fucker. He doesn't like that very much. So, it gets to points where they're not even in chase anymore. So she I can keep. I know how I'm not catching up with her. She can keep vaulting windows now because they're not in chase. <laughs> uh, that doesn't fucking hit. I love this game fucks me over. Oh man. I see this window should have been blocked several times already. You weren't in chase though. Yeah, she loops them the entire match. The entire match. I see fucking hitbox right there. <laughs> love this cheating this Yui's doing. Love the cheating this Yui's doing. That's what he just said. So Yui's cheating now. Get out of my face, you fucking cunt. He doesn't like body blocking at all. He finally gets her, though. So he gets her. And then he puts her on a hook and just puts, like, four traps around the hook. They use reassurance. He's doing his best. Okay, there's trap number four. Okay, he's got to go hit this, hit this guy. Misses. Ace gets the save, he misses Ace, and... Ah, oh, fuck this. I'm tired of the fucking cheating. I'm tired of the fucking cheating. He misses the Ace trying to get the unhook, and then he steps in his own trap, and he knows that Yui's gonna get away, so he rage quits. He says, love when survivors have to cheat in the game, and then also reports the Yui for cheating and says... The Yui was cheating in the game. Yeah, he says that... He goes on this whole thing about how she was faster than than she was supposed to be, which she was completely normal speed. But just makes this whole thing up to make it seem like she was cheating. The Yui was che cheating because she was going way too fast. Yeah. As an average survivor. Right. And the fact that she was not getting blocked while she was going through the same window again and again and again, that was another hack. That was another hack, yet despite the fact that the chase ended multiple times because she would cut corners and the chase would end. If there's no chase happening, there's, the windows don't get blocked, so that's, that's what happened there. But we can, we can chalk it up to hacks, you know. So it is pretty interesting for somebody who hates tunneling and favoritism so much, but when they play killer, they will tunnel a survivor for the entire 
match, ignore everybody else, and tunnel them just because they have decisive, even though they tunneled before they had decisive, because that's how decisive got used. Yeah, but they hate tunneling. I, I, I don't, I don't. This is why, this is why I don't understand and, and don't even believe that this is real. Is it real? This last clip here is just some comedy gold, so enjoy. Here comes Trickster. Ah! Oh my god, okay. So, Trickster came out of nowhere. I heard a tear radius. There, there was a tear radius. Um, there definitely was. And he's saying that the Trickster cheated and another rage quit. And then directly after he rage quits, he says this. I'm calling it a night because I keep getting the biggest retarded teammates against the sweatiest fucking cheating killers. Oh my god, he rage quits and then calls his teammates mentally disabled and blames it on cheating killers it's like wh wh who's you were the bad teammate you instantly dc'd because you went down in two seconds to a trickster who wasn't cheating by the way how was that your teammate's fault who was the bad teammate you you left them in that match i i just will never understand players like this who, like, they clearly are having a miserable time playing this game, but they just keep playing it, and it's just making them so angry, and they just lash out at people and take it out on everybody else, and then they do things like just preach about how bad tunneling is, but then when they play killer, they blatantly tunnel a survivor for five gens straight. It's like, what is happening? This video could have easily been over an hour long. From what I saw, pretty much any time this streamer lost a match, they would report people or write on their Steam profiles and call them pieces of shit and, you know, things like that in the endgame chat. But I think that the clips we looked at in this video are sufficient. I think you get the idea. If you're somebody who acts like this over Dead by Daylight and it's not satire, please chill out. And if you know anybody, a friend or something who acts like this over Dead by Daylight, tell them to chill out because it's just not worth it. It's just, it's not good for anybody to have this mentality or to be, you know, lashing out at people like this. It just does no good for anybody. I know some of you don't like to hear this, but it's a casual 1v4 asymmetrical horror game, okay? Just, just treat it as such, all right? Just, just, just take a deep breath. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever ran into a streamer that acts like this, or if you know somebody who acts like this, or maybe you used to act like this, but you don't anymore. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Take your common sense pills and shove it up your ass.